Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan. On my channel it's just Jordan and today I'm doing something whew, way different than what I normally do. In this video y'all get to see my trial and error of me putting on, lo and behold, my first wig. So here it is. You're actually looking at it right now. Let me tell you. <laughs> it went through a lot for me to get this on for the first time it's not even that it was hard to like the process was hard it was that i think i'm a little slow <laughs> one of my friends actually helped me out through this process um i'll link her down below because she was such a big help the first time i put it on in this video which you're going to see it did not look like this when i did it it was the yeah it was the trial part the trial and the error and then this is like the successful part <laughs> all right so this video is actually in collaboration with um beauty forever hair and so they sell human hair wigs obviously <laughs> and the one that i'm wearing right now is it is the malaysian curly hair wig in 22 inches 180 percent density so yeah that is the one i have on now um i'm about if you round up I'm about five foot six so this is where it comes on me at I have all the information uh, linked down below for my hair like the length and all the extra stuff the um actual link to the website and there's a couple of other links for their more popular wigs that they have so yeah y'all should definitely check that out in the description box I'm absolutely obsessed like I was so shocked at how soft the hair was and like I literally like finger detangled the whole time like I didn't even have to run a brush through it really I felt the best results when I um finger detangled but yeah it just holds onto its shine so well and oh I'm obsessed like um let me give y'all the background of why I really wanted to try a wig I just felt like this was the perfect opportunity for me to give my own hair a break um i have naturally curly like humongous hair i'll put in like a little picture so y'all can see and it's just like it's so much to do like it it's a whole job dealing with that head i absolutely love my hair but man like I, it, it just gets tiring and during this quarantine like you just don't want to put all that effort into doing your own hair and you're not even going anywhere. So uh, trying this wig out for the first time was a perfect opportunity for me to give my own hair a break and have something simpler to do. So um, yeah, these are the results. I hope y'all like them. I love them. I'm obsessed. But in the video, you're going to see I tried a side part the first time I did it and that's why like I had such a hard time. Like I had such a hard time. And the second go around when I put it on like this and I did the middle part instead, I just felt more comfortable with the middle part. If you want to see how I did the middle part instead of um, the other way, how you're going to see in the video, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'm definitely going to be doing a get ready with me soon and I will be putting my wig on in the video. So you're going to see how your girl <laughs> turn into an Instagram baddie overnight. So yeah. I'm excited you guys like I'm literally oh I'm so excited but yeah it's really cute what do you guys think and you guys I want to put an emphasis on this is my first time putting on a wig please do not drag me in the comments I mean I definitely will take helpful advice but do not drag me please because look your girl just your girl just trying to do a protective style out here I'm trying to be great let me be great all right so yeah let's go ahead and let's watch me embarrass myself all right so we're switching over to a voiceover now um i couldn't do it in real time and just talk to y'all because if i would have done that y'all would be sitting here for like an hour well y'all wouldn't be sitting here but it would be an hour right here i'm just braiding or not braiding i'm pinning my braids up and yep that's how that turned out but um yeah i'm just pinning them up because they were a little long and i didn't want them dangling in the cap so to keep them secure i pinned them um, I used the neutral colored cap. I just got this from Sally's from the little pickup thing. The box comes with a cap, but the cap was black. So I didn't want to have a black scalp. Like I'm sure I could have put concealer over it, but to make things easier, I just went and got another cap because they're pretty cheap. Right here, I was just trying to flatten my hair because yeah, 
we're not trying to look too wiggy like we're wearing a wig but i don't want to look that wiggy so i'm just making my hair flatter so it looks more natural i had the biggest struggle like with the wig and the cap like this is what i'm talking about i think i'm just slow like i slapped that thing on like a baseball cap and then my friend was like you need to bend over like turn your head over and put it on so that's how i did it um i struggled with this ear part i really did like i was just terrified to like cut the wrong piece off so it was taking me forever to cut that off right here i'm using the got to be glue uh, to secure my lace i don't believe that i was putting enough at first but later on i added another layer to keep it more secure um i was told that this actually is not nearly the most secure glue to use but um it worked pretty well for me i don't want to keep it in like too long like without washing my hair so i want it to be kind of easy to peel off but i still wouldn't say it was that easy to peel off for me personally So I think this is one of the parts I messed up. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on this and it looked like a lot of people were putting their like lace like way ahead of their hairline. And in retrospect, it sound it seemed like a good idea to do that for me because I have a big forehead. And I was like, oh cool. Now I get to have a smaller forehead. And yeah, um let's just say God gave me a big forehead for a reason. <laughs> because yeah i where i glued it at i just feel like i put it too low on my forehead and i don't like what i look like with a little forehead so we're gonna go back to the riri forehead in the end so yeah here i was just trying really hard not to like cut the wrong piece off i was getting really close and fun fact if anybody else is like a beginner like me I didn't know you were supposed to use a cool setting on the blow dryer so i was just using like a warm setting and i used that because that was the coolest setting i had on my blow dryer but apparently it's better to use a cooler setting so just in case this is your first one like me just thought i'd let y'all know so right here i'm just pulling out my baby hairs to see where they're at so i can go ahead and trim them up this was actually kind of a difficult task for me as well. But this is something I even struggle with with my natural hair, taking out my bangs. Like, I can never find them. But I'm using um, Eco Styler Gel to slick down the baby hairs. Um, people may be looking at me sideways, but that is what I use on my real hair when I do my baby hairs. And people look at me sideways then too. But hey, it works for me. I just like um, that when you use Eco Styler Gel for your baby hairs, it doesn't give it that like hard look i guess you could say it keeps them shiny and they just look more moisturized and more natural to me like i hate putting like i'll use edge control but i hate putting like nothing but edge control because i feel like it makes my even my real baby hairs look plastic here i had lost my hair product uh, i was originally going to use can to spray but i couldn't find it so i used this shea moisture mousse that i use on my natural hair all the time so i just figured i'd use it on this i basically did this hair a lot like i do my real hair so yeah it worked so we just gonna stick with it but now i'm just trying to wet it up so we can have like that more wet look another important thing like same goes for like any curly hair um, scrunching is key for me. Like, I just feel like it makes the curls just pop way more. All right, here I added some Controlled Chaos, their moisturizing cream. I just put it on top for extra hold because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to add more product the next day. And then I added my Light Argan Oil Shine Spray so it wouldn't be too heavy, but it would keep it really shiny. So here are the finished results originally when I did the side part. Um, yeah, I don't think the side part is for me. It wasn't terrible and I needed to pluck my part. I did that after this, so you don't see it. But yeah, the middle part is definitely more me. It makes me feel more comfortable. I feel more myself and I feel cute. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about my new look in the comments because I'm curious. Like, how does it look? Does it look like awfully wiggy? Like, do I look cute? Because I feel like I look cute. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time.